day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Because if I come to God any other way, on my own ability, which is what the devil wants us to do, the devil loves us to try to do it on our own. The devil loves to sit there and say, "You, you, you got to get you, you, you you're doing wrong, so you, you, you're through. I'm finished with you. God is finished with you." That is what not Jesus says. Jesus says, "Stay in Him, follow His path." If I do that, eternal life, baby. That's all I'm trying to say. All I want is eternal life. And that's only getting it through Jesus Christ. That is the narrow way. And yes, you can come off that rock and that rain will tear you up. You can come off that rock and the flood will drown you. But if you stay on that rock, even though that wind, the rain comes, you still got salvation. That's true. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I've been saying. I understand people. But I'm saying. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 I missed you because I thought people were saying everybody's going to stay on that rock. And I'm saying everybody's not. No, I agree. I agree with you. That's, that's what you're saying. That's where the problem comes. You get off the doggone rock. And, and then here's the other one I was saying. You know, remember when you read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse, you know what? Ten, I mean, Second Corinthians chapter 10, when I said the weapons of our warfare, or when I refer to Brother Addison used to like to say about putting on the whole arm of God, when you don't choose to put on the whole arm of God, when you don't use the weapons that he's given you, then you, you, you're going to you're gonna get beat up. <laughs> you're going to get beat up. If you don't stay on the rock, you're going to get beat up. But you can stay on the rock because he's not going to he's not going to kick you off the rock. But yes, I agree with you, brother. It's whether you stay on it or you walk off. That's why he says so narrow. And that's why the world got a problem with that because the world wants to try to find it on their own way. And Jesus said, I'm the way. That's it. So yeah, so I think we're in agreement. Just stay. That's why I'm always encouraging people regardless of where they are. You know, even if they keep sinning, stay on the rock because he's going to deliver you from those areas, in, in my area, in anybody else's area. Uh, but I haven't arrived yet. Uh, I, I'm making I'm making brag on some of y'all. Hey brother, I'm making brag on you some man. I'm making challenge you now. I, I make it sit there and say, hey, I, I, I haven't reached a point where, where Jesus said, which of you can convince me of sin? But I I I will run with you. <laughs> I, but but I know, I know what's going on in the back of the booth of my mind. <laughs> But in the natural, I run. I, I'll give you a run for your money. Is that, is that fair? <laughs> and I think that's applied to all of us here that's listening. You, you, there's some there's things that people don't know that you do, but if they just go by observing you every day, they might sit and say, "Man, that's a bad joke. That that joke that joke will walk on water." But in reality, we know we. No, nah, need about walking on water around right here. Yeah. Hey, I may give Bishop. I may give Bishop a little credit. <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen him walk on water neither, so I ain't giving him no credit in this. <laughs> I know what you said. <laughs> he ain't raising dead folk with open the blind eyes on here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we might get hey Jimmy, Jimmy's here. Maybe get Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy can do it. Maybe he may he arrived and, and he got it going on. Uh 
but I can just tell you, I have not arrived, brother. So I, I think that's uh, that's a lot to chew on. I wanted to tell everybody, y'all won't hear earlier, uh, next Sunday I'll be in DC, I, I'm going to a reunion, and I'll be preaching to uh, people I knew 40 something years ago. But uh, we, I told Brother Asher I wanted to talk to him about Romans 8, where it says, now there is no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus. I wanted to realize that they are only way is Jesus Christ. If they just stay in Christ, regardless of that malice they have walked or the malice they got to walk, just stay in Christ Jesus and he will take you to eternal life. As he said, only he can give you eternal life. And I just yes. want them to know, don't condemn yourself for what you have done. And I said, you know, I could say, I ain't going to say this, my wife will be this, so I ain't going to say, I ain't going to tell you what you did in college. Don't, don't worry about that. But I also don't know what you did. You know you've done some things after college, but don't walk in condemnation of those things. Just follow Jesus, and he'll take you the rest of the way. And that's because the next time we meet will be 10 years later, we'll be 70. All of us will be in the 70s. And I don't know when they're gonna stop when people start dropping off. So I don't want them to go in life in condemnation. I want them to go in life staying on the rock. That fair brother there. That makes sense. He's there, but he's right, he's muted. Well, Elder, that's all I think is a good message. What do you think? I think yeah, so. I'm muted. That makes sense. Yeah, just stay on the rock. But you're right. If you get off the rock, get back on it. Oh, you better get back. <laughs> Cause the get rain, no, it's gonna rain on the just and I'm just about to work. So get I back on the rock. So I won't be up. I may. I mean, I could come up at eight o'clock, but I won't stay till about for an hour uh, next Sunday because I'll be in DC. And I'm going to go ahead and give a message to them. So pray for me for the, uh, giving the message. If you want to show up at 8, I'll be here. But I ain't going to be for so long. And my wife probably will run me out of the room anyway. And I'll try to go on the balcony or something try to do it. <laughs> That'll work. All right. So 8 o'clock, I'll be here Sunday. But like it's going to be short. Because we got uh, we got meetings. And then I got the service. And I'm running the service. So I got to make sure I'm squared away on that. Now, I'm going to just talk about what you and I, we just talked about. I think if we stay in that arena, and I think I'll go with Brother Bell's uh, recommendation too, you've got to stay on the rock. This is not for you getting, if you get off the rock, you, you then, then there's some broad destructions that you can go to. But if you stay on the rock, stay wise in the blood, Stay in the word, like Joshua 1 and 8, meditate in that word day and night. Amen. That's what it's now, going to I believe you also can get off the rock and get back on it, too, though. Oh, amen. Oh, you heard the brother? Because Elder Johnson said in that, brother, thank you, Brother Bell. That's a good point. Because people do get off the rock, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just you remember. Call that, you call that repent. Yeah. <laughs> I like repent. that. That's a good reminder. That's I think that's part of any gospel we preach to remind people. Yeah. You can get back on. Yep. He, by the way, he's not going to kick you off the rock. He ain't going to move. And he'll help you get back on the rock. <laughs> he ain't going to move, though. Hey, brother, man, that's a good one. I like that. I mean, that's, that should not be left out of the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, but thank for me. Maybe not for nobody else, but for me, that's a good one. You remind people, you may get off the rock when you come back on. Amen? Amen. Yeah, a righteous man ordered by the Lord, so he falls seven times. The Lord should live him from the ball. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Amen. And I like that. Don't forget the other one where you say, how are you supposed to give your brother? Seven times 70 in a day. 149. What is his brother else? Born. 490 times a day. 490 times a day that he's willing to forgive me. Yep. Even though other people won't, there's people who won't forgive me. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, who want, anybody want to do communion? Yeah. If not, huh?